Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. So, so girlies, today I thought I'd dress up for the occasion because, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to share this video and um, honestly, I can't believe I've left it this long, but I'm finally going to get it done. And I'm a bit nervous, a bit scared as well because this person, the palettes I've got, he's like a legend and... You know, he is J-Lo's makeup artist and I've got his palettes and I'm not going to do any justice to them. But I'm going to give it a go and see if these are, uh, you know, makeup, you know, the makeup dummy friendly, because that's me. Um, and we're going to create a look using the palettes. And um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Scott Barnes. Yeah. So I've got all his palettes and I'm going to share them with you now. I have waited so long to get them. Um, it was a bit of a guilty um, purchase that my husband has no idea about, so we'll keep it like that. But yeah, no, I'm um, really excited to share these uh, palettes and hopefully you guys enjoy what I'm going to try and create. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So if you haven't seen um, Scott Barnes' uh, palettes, they all come individually wrapped in these amazing packaging. I mean, even this is amazing. And then you just have to um, open them up one by one and then we'll see what's going to happen. started so oh my god they're finally here i'm so excited and just really nervous at the same time to use these because i know i am not going to do them justice but we're going to try try and see what we can do so guys where do we start here we have there's lots of fingerprints on these and they're not mine anyway we have the color um palette here so it's the color bomb palette Oh my god, wow. The most beautiful version of yourself. So that is what Colour Balm looks like. Oh my god, stunning, stunning, stunning. Right, I've really got no idea what I'm going to create or where we're going to, which palette we're going to use. But that is Colour Balm and I'm putting it back in the sleeve. So, because it just looks ace, doesn't it? Just look at that, how gorgeous is that? We have the... Um, other eyeshadow palette. I think this is natural. Yep, this is natural. Oh, I love that saying, it's natural. So we're going to go with this one. How gorgeous is that? So this is all the natural palettes, all the nudes and the warm tones. And then there are all the bright tone ones. I think that's going to be a holiday palette as well. So that's natural. So these are the um, blushes. Oh, lift that up. Oh wow, you know, I've been watching him just demoing these and saying that these are like how he mixes all of the blushes together and apparently these two is what he used on J.Lo when she was in Made in Manhattan, you know when she's wearing that gorgeous blush dress, well that's it and these are, um, oh, what, what did he say these were now, basically they, they, oh what's the word? Not enhance. They're like an enhancer, aren't they? Oh, what did he call them? Oh, Scott, I can't remember. But anyway, can't wait to give these a try. And all these all work together as well. So yeah, and I think these two just make it more stand out more as well. So that's the blushes. Here we have the glowy and showy palette. So these are the Illum this is the illuminating palette. All the highlighters. How stunning are those? Just look at that. I really like peekaboo. Oh wow. Just look at that. Stunning. And candlelight looks really nice as well. God, they are so pigmented. I can't get into focus. There you go. Gorgeous. So we're gonna have a little play with those as well. And 
and and and yes this was sold out but as soon as it came back into stock that's how all this came alive i ran and bought myself the um sculpting and contour kit well hello we all want that j-lo glow don't we and that chiseled look so here is his sculpt and sculpting and contour um palette do I have a clue what to do with it? No, but we're going to see what we can do with it, guys. Okay? So, let's get started um, with the look we're going to create today. I think I'm going to go with Snatural. I did a nice, I did a nice bright um, look this week already, so I'll go with Snatural. And we'll see what we can do with some of the nudes, okay? Let's get started. Let's get into this look. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I've got my base face on. I've got my It's Cosmetic CC Cream. And we're going to go in with Snatural Palette. How I'm going to create this look, I don't know. But let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm scared. I hope he doesn't think, oh my God, my palettes have been wasted. They have been wasted at to um, people that have no idea what they're doing. Okay, so my eyelids are a bit tacky from the foundation. And my Morphe Jeffree Stars JS5 blending brush. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm so Come on then. So I'm going to go in with the Muted. Okay. And just go all over the lid. That's a nice colour actually. Just blend that all out. Okay, so that's gone all over my lid. Let's stay with the same brush and go in with Vintage, which is slightly darker. I'm going to go into the crease. Okay. Just blend that out. Get a bit of definition going on there. Okay. And then I'm going to go with a thinner brush. And go with Woody, which is like a dark brown, and then just blend in the corner of it. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with this brush, I just wipe away just that, and then I'm going with Vintage again. And go over where the brown is towards the brow bone, and then I'm going to go in with saucy, and I'm going to use my finger so it's like a bronzy, and then I'm just going to apply that. Oh wow, that is stunning. That is gorgeous. I always tend to do one eye better than the other. Which one I don't know, but there's always one that looks seems better. Scott, if you want to ever come across this video, I'm so sorry I'm not doing it any justice. I am trying my hardest. I love this colour, it is absolutely stunning. And that's saucy. That's that. I'll go over it again if I feel I need to. It's a bit of fallout, not a lot. To get that J look glow going on. We'll try to anyway. We'll see. To go for. Hmm. Let's go for carve. God, that's dark. And I loved to go straight down like that and then down the jawline. Give that really chiseled look. Or the neck to create a shadow 
Do I look chiselled? Do I look like J Lo? <laughs> I'll go down the nose. A little bit there. I haven't actually got a big nose, but we will um, take a clean brush and then just blend that out. Of that harsh line by blending upwards towards the cheeks, as he does, and then. She's in finger. Oop. Knees, dear. Blend the hairline. I've always got these little baby hairs coming across everywhere. I like how that's blended out with this one. Okay. Okay. I look, I feel like I look like Frankenstein, I don't know about a chiselled contour, blusher first shall I say, let's go with blusher, so we're going to go with the blusher, and we're going to go in with Minimalist, and Sweet Cheeks. Okay, and then we'll just go with a bit of a glowy in shadow. So we'll go with a bit of glowy over the top, just to get that nice shimmer. Okay, then we're going to go in with the highlight, and we're going to go with Pinkaboo. Okay, and I'm going to go in with candlelight on top. A natural feeling. Okay, let's go in with some mascara. Right, mascara's on. I'm just going to put some lashes on and I'll be I went in with um, the Brush Junkie um, False Lashes. They are absolutely stunning. Um, I did a bit of highlighting with my concealer, which I forgot to do. And then I drew um, an eyeliner with the Quick Flick um, pen. So you get a left and a right to do a wing, but I couldn't do the wing, so I'll do that for another day. And then I'm just touching up going back in with the brushes like literally the colours on the shades on the brush and just touching up where I need to just smoke it out slightly to give it that nice dramatic evening look there you go what do you all think so far give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe now um, we're going to do a lip and I'm thinking maybe a nice nude lip so we have should go for white wedding let's go for white wedding and then we'll go with the matching um, lip liner as well from revolution so we're going to go in with white wedding and then go in with the lip And there you have it guys, and this is the look I've created using the Scott Barnes palette. Scott, I hope I've made you proud. I am like a newbie when it comes to all this professional stuff, but yeah, 
which is so glad that I got my hands on these. I'm so grateful. I'm going to be practicing a lot more and I am going to become a professional. You wait and see, guys. Before you know it, you're really asking for me to do your makeup. Only joking. Only joking. Um, I am done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I will leave all of the products in the description below where you can go and grab them, what I used, and yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you all have a lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.